Hello everybody, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing Tickle Tweaks versus Risen Tweaks. Tickle is another creative warrior, kind of like Zen. Yes, we're trying to milk it. Uh, <laughs> but Risen Tweaks comes in at 30 USD for his extreme panel. But if you just go to Hydra at checkout, you can get this for 15% off. Tickle's premium utility comes in at $39.99, so about $10 more. And I really like how this looks, if this is actually what I get. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this uh, this looks promising. Uh, I think this will be competitor. But uh, let's go ahead and get on with the showcase. I'll showcase Tickle Tweaks, I'll showcase Risen Tweaks, and we'll see which one gives me the, better, the best performance. I also want to mention that I am on different specs than I usually am. This will probably be a one-time thing. I'm on a 12700KF, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM running at 6000 megahertz. I am on Ethernet, I'm usually on Wi-Fi, and I have a 9060XT, 16 gigabyte of course. Uh, this will probably be a one-time thing, but yeah. Uh, let's go ahead with the showcases. Alright, let's go ahead and check out Tickle Tweaks. I just got it, and I haven't seen it yet, so this will be my uh, reaction. Well, I guess I saw it on the website, but whatever. And yeah, it's how it is on the website. It looks very nice. I like that sign-in page. It is cool. Uh, this is pretty cool. You know, it has just about everything you would think it would. I mean, yeah, I don't really see anything wrong with this. Um, I wonder. Oh, that is cool. Oh, you can um, do what you You can click what you want and then apply all the change. Oh, okay, never mind. That, that is just dumb. Never mind, you have to click one, then apply the changes. Whoa. Tweaks failed to write. Are you kidding me? Tweaks failed to write file. Oh my goodness. It's probably because I didn't run as admin. We will see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I really was going to like that you could select all of them and then do it but um never mind that that is just dumb <laughs> okay anyways uh i'm gonna do every tweak i can for my pc and we'll see which gives better performance tickle tweaks or risen tweaks all right now it's time to showcase the risen tweaks extreme utility we've seen this a dozen times it has windows optimizations network only for ethernet hopefully for wi-fi someday d bloat all that good stuff Specific GP optimizations besides Intel, don't know why. Uh, priority for games, data queue size optimizations, and CPU tweaks and DirectX tweaks. We've seen this a thousand times, and yeah, they actually are updating this soon, I believe. New UI, so I'll be looking forward to. I don't know which one I like more, Extreme or um, Tickle Tweaks, but or Tickle Tweaks, but uh, I'm not sure, man. I'm probably gonna have to give it a tie for looks, honestly, but uh, that's not what we're here for. We're here for performance. I'm now gonna go see which utility gives me the best performance for my system. The stock OS got a buffer bloat score of a D. The Tickle Tweaks OS got a buffer bloat score of an A+, which is why Ethernet tweaks are so important. And the Risen Tweaked OS also got an A+, on the buffer bloat test, tying them both, but they still did beat the stock OS. Stack OS had a process count of 131. The Tickle Tweaks OS had a process count of 96. And the Risen Tweaked OS had a process count of 44, which is the lowest I've ever been able to get it. Probably because I've had Ethernet on now. And I have not had to have my Wi Fi services on. Risen Tweaks is going to get the point for the process count category. On the Stack OS, the highest process latency recorded was 60.4, with an average of 2.17. With the highest DPC latency being 59.1 with an average of 1.0. On the Tickle Tweaks OS, the highest process latency was 210.4 with an average of 2.12. The highest DPC latency was 209.2 with an average of 0.65. On the Risen Tweaked OS, the highest process latency was 39.6 with an average of 1.41. The highest DPC latency being 38.4 with an average of 0.56 with Risen Tweaks taking the point for the latency category. The stock OS had an average FPS of 360 
with the highest being 544 with a mem minimum of 57. The RAM was just above 9.5 gigabytes usage, which is very high. The Tickle Tweaks OS had an average FPS of 280. A lot worse than the stock OS, and I believe I know why. I will show a clip after this. The highest FPS recorded was 683 with a minimum of 97. With 8.5 gigabytes of RAM usage. On the Risen Tweaked OS, we had an average FPS of 406, with the highest being 785 and a minimum of 58. Of 58, with just above 7.5 gigabytes of RAM usage, giving Risen Tweaks the win by a long shot. Okay, um, I I just wanted to add this because like, oh man, I I don't know what has happened. But I believe the reason Tickle Tweaks did so bad in the FPS category was something with their CPU tweaks. It has literally locked my gigahertz at my base speed. It's not allowing my cores to boost at all. It's not allowing them at all. And it's not my power plant. I'm using the... I haven't changed it. I haven't messed with it because the utility didn't mess with it. So it's unbalanced. I haven't changed it. Utility de didn't mess with it. I don't mess with it. But... And it, it and it has to be from this because my CPU wouldn't be at 100 with on balance. So, um, and yeah, it's saying 50. percent Yeah, so this is um idle off. So, like, I, I don't even know how you manage to mess this up, but this is an extremely bad bug. This is going to kill your FPS so hard. But um, yeah, no, this is <laughs> that is horrible. Oh my gosh all right <laughs> all right my final thoughts on this video uh well obviously present tweaks one from the test that we did but i don't think now i do have to explain i don't think tickle tweaks is bad at all my delay was pretty good it was uh, sorry it was very good um it increased my buffer blow score by a lot, which is very important. My process, my processes were down from stock, not as much as I would have liked. But the FPS with that weird, I, I don't even know how they mess it up. I don't know if it, it, it has to be a glitch. I don't know. But it was literally stuck at the base speed. I've never seen that happen before, which was absolutely killing my FPS, which is why it did so bad at that. But um that was the only negative thing about it and unfortunately that is a very big thing that was wrong with it but yeah i really had no i i didn't have that much problems with it uh it looks good but it is also 40 freaking dollars which is crazy if this thing was 15 maybe 20 dollars and they fixed the cpu thing uh whatever problem it was 15 20 25 dollars absolutely this would be amazing this would be an amazing thing to get i would totally recommend it but with the cpu problem uh i cannot recommend it and you should just go buy risen tweaks extreme utility uh for ten dollars less and use code hydra for 15 percent off get it for 25 dollars but that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Risen Tweaks has taken another dub, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to use code HYDRA at checkout for 15% off any product from risentweaks.com.